Hey, party people. How's everyone doing out there today? Hopefully everyone is doing well. We always like to know that people have everything they need when they need it. Um, as you can see, another fine day. It is a little bit chilly today. We're, we're actually showing some fall. And uh, for Michigan, that means uh, we're probably in the low 70s, high 60s today. We have uh, a lot going on, but as long as these days stay like this, we'll probably try to do a few of these. Um, I like it out here. Hopefully you guys are good with that. Hopefully the sound is good. So if it is, great, and thanks for joining us. Uh, today, mail call. Everybody likes mail call, right? Uh, that box sure does look familiar, so we probably know where and where or where and who this is coming from. Uh, today we are. Oh man, I didn't think about that. Today we are using the old Boker from long ago. I've had this thing for a ton of time. Let's see. So the serial number zero zero. I don't know if you can see that zero zero two nine. That thing has been around forever. Um, I got this right at the end of my military service from my uncle down in Florida. He was kind enough to give it to me. Lock still works. Everything still works. Works really good. Uh, got a little bit of wear on it. A little bit of battle war. But super cool. And uh, I always enjoy this thing. I don't beat the crap out of it just because it means a little more to me. As I said, my uncle did give it to me. It's Aus 8. Can you see that? Tawa! Not that anybody talks like that. It's just fun to say. It's like quinoa. I always got to make a funny face when I say that. I don't know why. It's kind of like doing the say hello to my little friend. You got to make a funny face. So anyways, we're going to be using this today. It just happened to be in my pocket. I gave it a little bit of oil. I had it on me. I was going through some stuff, putting up some boxes and whatnot. So uh, I grabbed this. Just do a little bit of work in the barn. That being said, let's play the magic combo game. Try to figure out where everything is. To open this now uh, wherever you're at are you enjoying your football season share that with us and if you are who is your favorite team we have the big one this weekend we've got Michigan Michigan State and uh, I'm trying to see if these tickets are supposed to be coming to me or not uh, I was told I was getting some tickets and then I was told they weren't sure if I was getting some tickets so Either way, I'm not unhappy about it. Um, never a bad thing, you know. We don't we don't mind paying for some good stuff, just as long as uh, while getting that good stuff, the people follow through. Never want to have a situation where we pay for them and they don't show up. Um, things are things, so guard yourself with that kind of those kind of purchases. That's the best I can tell you. All right. We're almost there, kids. I apologize. So, one more second. We'll be there. Anybody figured it out yet? Most of you know this box, don't you? Some of you know this box. I can't say most of you because not everybody. I got my fresh supply of bubbles. That's all it is. That's my mail call for today. All right. That's it. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. Kidding. Kidding. We're just going to throw those over there. And... What have we got? Who wants to guess? Take a guess, real quick. Yeah, you're probably right. Never compromise. So, we've been on back order for this, as most have. Never compromise. Microtech. I always get to smiling with Microtech. I don't hate it. And that being said, I was hoping that this, obviously, would be uh, placed on the service personnel program. And apparently it has been. So that said, you know what's happening. There we go. You know what's happening. Let's take a look at it. I haven't even held one of these yet. So I'm pretty excited. I did hold the button lock uh, stitch. So I thought that was pretty cool. And being a big fan of the stitch seems like something I might want to add to my collection. This being an open box, bear with us. We're not going to be doing a full review. But if there's any questions... As always, maybe somebody knows them, knows that person. Uh, that said, uh, we will follow up. 
All right. Uh, first, at first look, I love the texture. G10 is pretty sweet. High quality, which uh, I wouldn't think anything different. Um, all the hardware looks legit. I'll check in to see what the hardware is. See if I can do any customizing. If I can, I will probably send it off because this one will stay in my collection. I have no intention of getting rid of this one. Um, we have some Merkins here. Hopefully you can see that. A little bit of choppy wind today, but that's all right. See those. And I like the stock of the blade. Nice and thick. Yeah, I, I really like the G10. If you haven't held one of these, the G10 is nice. It's nice for my hand. I do like this the size. Uh, so hopefully I'm going to like the, the blade size as well. All right. Button lock. Yeah, look at that. Swings nicely. Oh, man. So that's done well. I like that. I like it when it's captive um, rather than just kind of hanging out there. And that's pretty sweet. You can see the springs through there. Uh, longevity. I don't know if anybody's got one of these. But if you do... Tell us how that's been wearing. You can see in there, we got some nice jimping um, at the top, obviously. So, see that? It's captive. I like, I like, I like. Let's get it up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm going to move this over here so I've got some light. My apologies. All right. Let's get some light. Shine some light on it. Shine the light. Take a good look. What do you think? She pretty. She sure is pretty, boy. Them kids over there at Microtech do a good job in the Carolinas. The Kakalakis, if you will. Legit. I like it. All right. Got some other blade markings over here. Let's take a quick look and share. Got that crow foot. <laughs> Talon. That's our joke between some of us. You got one of them crow foot knives? But yeah, that's that's pretty nice. Just I, I love the texture. I just I, I just love the wash. Not the texture, I guess that's the finish. Texture, goofball. Well the texture on the G10 is nice, but the finish on the blade, just the way that it is textured, I guess. It's just pearly. I guess it, I don't know. It's just such a good look, man. <laughs> Makes me smile. And I like to smile when I get them their knives. I don't know why I'm talking like that. But I'm feeling up to it. So, been working a lot today out in the yard and the barn. But, yeah, this thing is amazing. I'm digging it. Gosh, I hate to say it, but you know I'm carrying this bad boy. I'm carrying this bad boy for sure. I love this. I love this button lock. Microtech. Mr. Marfione and Company, Team Crowfoot, <laughs> Team Talon, he did a great job. Man, these things are pretty sweet. I know everybody else probably already knows it because you guys are all celebs and whatnot. I'm just some old, some old mill guy, some old disabled mill guy. All right, that being said, we do have Ambiware, Ambidextrous Wear. We do have a lantern hole. <laughs> now, I noticed this right away. Some of you will notice. We're showing them mushrooms. Yep, we got some button heads showing on those. So I'll run it in on my pocket. And once I get a review on it, I'll know how well it works. But I love the, uh, I do like the clip. Just not sure about those mushrooms growing on in that there field. But we'll take a look. Let's take a look inside. Can you see it? Is there enough light? Again, this is just an unboxing. I'm just going over it. So. Those of you who may not have one and looking to possibly get one, might have a better idea. Again, seven inches fingertip to the bottom of my palm. That being said, that's about right where we're at. Nope, I do not. I repeat, do not have my tape measure. But I will have all the leading particulars once. Uh, I'll get some of the mechanisms there. Once we get the review done and handle it, weigh it, all those things. I'm digging it. I'm digging it. I am going to put a lanyard on it. Maybe some of them 
little beads they got to hang off our Tim Gentry, you like them beads, don't you, buddy? Nice backspacer. Yep, so I, I'll find out what, what all the materials are of everything and see what we can do about doing some customizing. Eh, this might just go to our buddy over there, Mr. Mr. Adam Brock, because uh, if there's some things on here that can be touched, he would be my choice for touching these. Uh, well oiled. <laughs> crazy sharp i'll tell you what we'll do a quick comparison blade blade size to the old boat just for everyone to see can everybody see that am i acting like a butthead all right there can we see that better all right do you have a little tiny choil in there i guess um a little bit uh some jumping right there at the top so you can bear down yeep yeep not bad i like it i like it it's a good stop. I'm digging it. Now the cool thing about a lot of these holes, I know you know some some people have their likes and dislikes on how to open and whatnot, but you know when you're out in the field, out in the bush, so to speak, you know you can run some cording through cordage through there and do some different things. Um, some of you know that, some don't. But it's not a terrible thing. I'm gonna lower it. Yeah, it comes right out. You can stop it. Yeah, just about where you want. Man, I like that. I'm probably going to have to have the stitch version. Just, it's a stitch, you know. So, again, I'm a big fan and really liked it. But I was hoping for one of these before the stitch. But handling the stitch, I didn't want to get too revved up. I like to make a trip. I'm definitely going to hit there on my West Coast swing on my big trip that I'm going to head out on and hopefully most of you will be joining me but yep i'm digging it i'm liking it so for the unboxing today uh nice fall day microtech msi black g10 it's a beauty it's a beauty if you're interested or have any questions specifically about it do not hesitate to call me i'm always more than willing to answer a call uh, text you know what i mean um Always more than willing to answer any questions if I can. Uh, again, we like to do this just to help people, just to see where they're at. And uh, maybe if they're trying to make a choice, we can help make that choice by some of the things that we know. The thing is perfectly centered, obviously. I wouldn't think anything different. There might be some that come a little bit off every now and then, but that one's very nice. Blade stock, I love it. I, I don't, there's nothing I don't like about this. I can't say I don't like that until I wear it. I'm, I'm not usually fond of that, but um, we'll give them their just dues just like anything else. I don't make any decisions until I actually have some experience to it. But, oh, hey, bubble attack. Get the bubble. Get these bubbles off me. All right, I'm silly. Uh, that being said, I appreciate you. God bless you. Love you guys. And, uh, Hope you have a wonderful day, wonderful weekend, or a wonderful week ahead. Always here, willing to look out. If you need anything, give us a call. Give us a holler. Shout us out. And uh, share us, like us, subscribe if you're into that type of thing. Cost you nothing. Just helps us out to get out there and be around our other people. Thanks again for coming out. Take care. God bless.